All right, it's Friday morning at 8.30. This is the second day after the hurricane. And our water level is actually rising. It's not showing any signs of going back. Uh, that's our mailbox. And that's our street. The water level has come up probably another six inches. And... Uh, I'm guessing now, if they're not here already, we're going to start to get a commingling of snakes and alligators because we weren't far from where they live anyway, and now everything is joined with one huge body of water. Still on a generator. We're okay with that. It's just uh, I can't get out of the house to get gas or anything, if even if it was available, because the street's under a couple feet of water. And... It's not receding, so uh, interesting. I don't know where the water goes from here, what what route it takes to get to a bigger body of water to drain away, but it's not good when two days later the water level is higher. So anyway, um, I've gotten a bunch of messages from people about me wanting to try to get a hold of their loved ones in Northport, and I've told everybody the same thing that if I can get out of my house and get to somebody's house to check on them, I will. But I can't get out of my house right now. So um, I know that there is a, a phone number set up for like a check on the welfare. And it, it's always busy or always ringing. But I guess thousands of people have the same problem here. So anyway, well, just a quick walk around since I'm out here. Um, I said the water's getting a little bit higher and uh, it's starting to creep around to the side yard here. We were fishing yesterday in the driveway, which was interesting. Didn't catch anything, but. And. Nice and quiet back here. It's a beautiful day. The storm really cleared out lots of dead trees and things that were in the lot next to us. This is a piece of plywood that got ripped off the wall. Ripped the anchors right out of the concrete. They're still still anchors in it. And we lost some softening. So I need to get that put back up. I'll finish getting all the plywood off today. Unbelievably, our lanai has no damage. Not even a tear in the screen. I don't know how that's possible. But we survived that unscathed. And my wife's garden is still standing. Although, I think we need to replant. And some of the low spots have water in them. And this is the raccoon playground, which amazingly is kind of still standing. I'll have to feed the raccoons tonight. You see the live oak, the branches are just twisted off. We had such powerful winds, it was unbelievable. Didn't just snap the branches, but twisted them like wringing out a washcloth. So. Anyway, that's it for the update. It's a beautiful day. The water is rising. And I guess we're just cleaning up the damage, but it would be nice if the water would recede some. And then and try to get out and about and resume life. But I guess that's what everybody wants to do. So. All right, well, there's our waterfront property that we didn't know we had. Beautiful day in Northport. All right, see ya.